Yesterday we put out the question on Facebook and Instagram asking our followers, what are some of the ways in which you are seeing our community come together and be helpful to one another? And then secondly, what are you seeing local businesses do to be creative during this time? And so that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hey guys, this is Andy with CDA Idaho. How are you guys this morning? Are you hanging in there? Have you finished your lifetime supply of banana chips yet? First of all, I gotta mention, today is a beautiful day. Blue skies, birds are chirping, it's so nice outside. Also, my dentist appointment got canceled. My friend Jeff Drocker responded to our Instagram post uh, as far as what the community is doing to help one another and, and he said that he, is, he has seen our community serve by letting the elderly go to the front of lines. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Costco, uh, Fred Meyer, anytime these guys are bringing in shipments of toilet paper, there's these long lines out the door. What's really cool is that some of our local grocery stores have even set up special times where just the elderly can go in and shop and not have to worry about fighting the crowds. That's really cool. Another one of our followers commented, uh, Jenny Melsha, she's the one that actually makes our rings and our necklaces at our store. She does a fantastic job. She's the owner of Farewell Jewelry and she wrote saying that she had her husband bring home a bunch of flowers the other day and then her and her five-year-old went door to door in their neighborhood uh, giving people flowers to lift their spirits. What a, what a kind thing to do. We got another message letting us know that Fire Pizza has been donating their profits to their employees since they cannot offer dine-in right now. They're offering uh, to-go orders, curbside pickup, uh, like a lot of restaurants in town, but uh, I thought that was pretty neat. And again, not every restaurant may be able to do that or afford that. This is a hard time for a lot of small businesses right now, but we thought that was really cool. It's always neat to see people look out for one another. So that kind of leads me into our next topic of what our local business is doing to be creative right now, especially like our local restaurants, our local coffee shops and things like that. And so what's really cool is that it looks like the CDA Downtown Association uh, they're in charge of a lot of the events that go on downtown and they kind of really do their best to promote local businesses. Uh, if you go to cdadowntown.com forward slash curbside, you'll see how this system works. There's a list of restaurants that have kind of banded together, I think especially in the downtown area, uh, to offer curbside uh, pickup. So uh, basically, you, you pick your restaurant, you call them with the order, and then uh, you, you tell them when you're, when you're at the restaurant at the curb, and then you tell them where you want them to put your order, like put it in the trunk or put it in the back seat, and they'll do that all for you. A lot of these restaurants, they're really trying to keep uh, things safe. They're trying to keep things clean. And so actually participating in one of these curbside dining experiences, take it home, eat it with your family, is a great way to support your local businesses right now. Things seem like they're changing on a day-to-day -day basis, so keep in mind that everything I tell you in this video may change tomorrow. Let's look through a couple more things. Uh, Calypso's Coffee is offering free delivery within city limits. Calypso's Coffee is also doing something really unique since they closed down their seating inside their shop. Uh, they're doing a pen pal thing, so they're encouraging people to write into Calypso's Coffee and uh, they'll write you a letter back. So uh, kind of, you know, if, if you're home for a while and you're, you wanna write somebody, uh, write Calypso's Coffee and they'll write you a letter back. So that's kind of a fun, a fun idea. A lot of coffee shops have switched to this model where you can order ahead and come pick up your order. Other coffee shops that have drive throughs in town, they're closing down their lobbies and they're just opening their drive through That's a good way to go get coffee. Evans Brothers and Bean and Pie are now kind of uh, two businesses under one roof right now. And Bean and Pie, if you go to their website, you can order to-go orders. Pinsicle, key lime, peanut butter, berry crumb, salted caramel, chocolate cream, take and bake, veggie pot pie, snickerdoodle mac and cheese, mac and cheese pot pie. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Triple chip cookies, confetti cookie. So be sure to check them out. You can order from their website and do curbside pickup. Melt's Extreme Grilled Cheese is offering free kids meals right now. What a neat thing. Uh, Post Falls Sports Nutrition is doing free deliveries in the Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene area, trying to keep people stocked up on their 
nutritional goods. And then also they have a basket uh, of toys where uh, kids can pick a free toy. The Hayden Furniture Depot commented and let us know that they are offering free local delivery, deep discounts, special interest free financing, and they are also doing FaceTime shopping and personal shopping appointments. You're gonna notice a lot of people doing this kind of FaceTime shopping, I think. So be on the lookout for that. A lot of local gyms, such as uh, CrossFit Coeur d'Alene, I think is one of them, and there's a bunch of others in the area. Uh, martial arts studios, gyms, are doing their daily workout routines on their social media pages. They're, a lot of them are recording their, their routines and posting them. A lot of people are doing live streaming now, which is really cool, live streaming their daily routines with their uh, gym members. That's pretty neat. At this time, a lot of small businesses are having to be really creative. Another bookstore in town, Bookishly Happy, you can look them up on Instagram, Bookishly Happy CVA. Uh, they, are, they specialize in used books and they are doing a thing where you can call in, you tell them your favorite author, your favorite genre, and they will set aside three books in that category for you uh, for $15, which is really great. And they make sure they get all these used books in, but they're, they're wiping everything down with uh, a citrus cleanser and they're using Lysol. So they're trying to keep everything really clean and, and tidy and nice for you when you get your books. And then they're doing local deliveries as well. So check them out, see what they're doing. Another fun activity to do with your friends, your family, your kids is our local painting studio, Hands to Art, has put together these to-go packages. So you just walk in there, you pay them some money, and you walk out with this, uh, with a bunch of pottery and a bunch of paint and brushes and everything you need to, to do a pottery painting at home. If you go onto our website at cdaidaho.com, Fill out your shopping cart. Be sure to use coupon code don't shake my hand at checkout and then you'll get free shipping on your order, which is excellent. It's great being a part of a community that cares for one another. This will be a hard time for a lot of people. This virus has and will affect everybody, at least in some way. It's important to remember that all of this is likely just temporary. We will get through this. This is an opportunity to love your neighbor. If you're in a toilet paper line, let the elderly go in front of you. If you're at the grocery store, smile and be friendly to the grocery store clerk that is working around the clock right now to keep up with everything. If you're sick, stay home. That's your way of loving your neighbor. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it is helpful to the local businesses in our community. Let us know in the comments below what are some ways that you've seen our community come together to serve one another. And let us know in the comments below other businesses that are being really creative right now. Let us know about them. Let's try to support one another. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, all those good things. And we'll see you next time. Have you eaten your lifetime supply of banana chips yet? <laughs> I have. Anyways, guys, I wanted to let you all know about some things that are going on in our community, in our, in our, in our, in our, in our, in our, going on in our community, community, community. I want our friend, our friends, our friends. Side, you'll see a list of restaurants that have kind of banded together. Don't have any items about unsafe. Are you serious?